Hi, I'm Foster. And I'm John. And welcome to the very first live edition of BHNN. To kick off this special edition, we're going to take you right to sports. Hey Greyhounds, it's Ben with a volleyball update. On Tuesday, the Varsity Girls volleyball team beat the district champs Wimberley in three games in the last home game of the season. The girls finished second in district with a regular season record of 17-15 and 15 and a 7-2 and two record in district. The girls will begin playoffs next week. That's all for volleyball. Good luck, girls. Two, one, go. Baylor here with a cross-country update. The varsity cross-country had their regional meet on Monday at Texas A&M and Corpus Christi. They will now advance the state on November 3rd as they travel to Old Settlers Park in Round Rock. Good luck, Greyhounds. I'm here with Ryan Koff and the varsity tennis team. How are you today? I'm doing good. Good. So I heard you guys played Wimberley Tuesday. How did y'all do? We beat them 11-8 in a really close match. Very nice. And I heard y'all have regionals coming up. Yeah, we're playing Lavernia on Thursday at 10 o'clock. And if we beat them, then we'll play Fred. And if we beat them, then we're going to state. Well, good luck, Ryan. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. And congratulations to all BHS athletes. To keep the updates rolling, we're going to take you guys straight to Nurse's Corner. Hi Greyhounds, Nurse Gish here. Today I want to remind you all that you are not allowed to carry medications in your purse, in your backpack, in your pocket, anywhere to school. If you need medications at school, they need to be with me right here in the office. I keep them locked up in the cabinets. You will get in big time trouble if you're caught with medications on your person or in your backpack or purse. So. If you need medications at school, like to say you have a headache, you need Tylenol, you, your parents need to fill out the medication permission slip. They can get it online or I have copies right here in my office. You can come pick one up and then you need, need to bring me your own bottle of Tylenol, Advil, Excedrin, whatever it is that you need to take. I write your name on it and I lock it up in my cabinets and it's here for you when you need it. Okay? I don't want you get, guys getting in trouble. And don't forget, protect yourself and others. Don't spread germs. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Okay, bye-bye, till next time, bye-bye. Thanks, Nurse Gish. Very informational, as always. As many of you know, the early voting for the midterm elections has begun, and Aiden, one of our BHS reporters, has brought you a quick reminder about it. Hello Greyhounds, I'm Ben Schwartz, here to remind you that early voting for the midterm elections lasts from October 22nd until November 6th. If you want your voice heard and you're over 18, go out to one of your local polling stations and vote. I don't know about you, but I definitely want my voice heard. Agreed. It feels great to have an opportunity to make a difference in our country. And now we bring you a special promo for the theater department's Halloween special, The Haunted Theater. Haunted Theater is this Friday the 26th and this Saturday the 27th. It's open from 7.30 to 11 p.m. and the ticket costs $10 or $5 if you bring canned goods. Oof, that looks chilling and thrilling. Will I see you there? I don't know, man. That looks way too spooky for me. Whatever, scaredy cat. Anyways, let's keep this ball rolling and head on into Counselor's Corner. Hey everyone, I'm Mrs. Hudek in the Counseling Office. We have a special guest today, our Advanced Academics Coordinator, Shauna Dillon. Come on in. She's going to just give a little pointers on what seniors and juniors can be doing right now, or even sophomores and freshmen, to help transition into the next step of high schools. Hey guys, I'm Shauna Dillon, and I'm here to give you a few pointers for college admissions. For seniors, my number one tip is to visit with colleges and universities that you have been applying to or you plan on applying to and make sure you are applying to three different types of schools. Your dream school, your match school, and your safety school. A dream school is that school that you hope to get into but you're not really sure if you're going to get in. Your match school is a school that is a really good match for you academically that you feel pretty confident you're going to be admitted. And then a safety school is a school that you know that without a shadow of a doubt you will be admitted to. And then be sure to apply for their honors and their scholarship programs. Um, the same goes for juniors is to start looking for those types of schools and really be visiting the colleges, universities, and post-secondary institutions you're interested in attending after you graduate from high school. Remember, juniors and seniors, you get two freebie days 
um, during junior year and during senior year to check out these colleges and institutions to make sure that it's a really good fit. And don't forget, apply for honors, apply for scholarships, both inside your colleges and universities and outside of those institutions. Sophomores, right now is a really great time for you to investigate the world of work and career and find out what the best kinds of jobs would be for you based on your interest, your skills, what you really like to do, what you're good at, um, and then see what colleges and institutions have those majors that match up with those career prospects. Freshmen, it's kind of the same thing. Be planning your four-year planning for high school so that you can go into college prepared and be doing research and things like that. Unfortunately, freshmen and sophomores don't get two days off every year to go visit institutions, so be sure to take advantage of your holidays, vacations, summertime, weekends, and just be checking colleges and institutions out. That's what I have for you today. Thanks, guys. Bye. Happy Friday. This is a lot of traffic in San Antonio. It's a beautiful day. Thank you. Hello, happy Friday. There was, it's good to be here today. There was, there was the Greyhounds football in, in the field. There was a lot of playing at Bernie High School, and the Bernie Greyhounds football won. Good luck. Bye. Thank you all for joining this special edition of BHN. I'm John. And I'm Foster. And we'll see you guys next week. Thank you.